Hey everyone, a very warm welcome back to Moga where I'm using the Toth Tarot by Crowley and Harris to really get those moments of great awareness, the inspiration from the deck which is helping us on this spiritual journey. The card this week that I've pulled is the Hanged Man. Now the Hanged Man is not a great card for the swipe to buy generation, wanting everything now, this instant world we live in. This card is a forced pause, it can be very frustrating. There's an aspect of self-sacrifice within this card also. And it really is the divine timing is not your timing vibe. And this is a lot harder for younger people. When you're in your 40s, things start to make a bit more sense. You're like, oh, that happened because I'm where I am, where I am and want to be now. So it's easier to understand when you're older, a little more frustrating when you're younger. If we look deeper into this card, you'll see that you've got a man who's hanged upside down. He looks pretty chill though. But here he is, he's attached, his foot is attached with the serpent on the ankh. Now the ankh is eternal life and this is connected here to these white rays of Keta, Keta being source, div divinity, God. You are attached and you are always being held, you are a part of source, you are always connected to source. So whenever you're being paused, you see all of these timelines in the back here, these are all the paths you can take, it's for a reason. Now you see the man is upside down, obviously he's a hanged man, and his head is plunging down towards this dark area here, again with a serpent in it, the serpent being knowledge. So the card this week is really asking us to take a pause. You may be frustrated, but don't be frustrated and to actually go into the darkness. We're gonna go into the subconscious and the way we're gonna do that is via meditation. The card is asking us all to really be serious about our meditation practice now. The Hebrew letter associated with it is Mem. This is, the number of this uh, letter is 40. So the card is really saying, look, 40 days and nights of meditation and you're gonna see your life transform because you're gonna have access to all this new knowledge. This card has a lot of green in it. That's Venus, that's love. You need to get back to your source being a little bit. We've strayed. We've gone a little bit away, we've gone a bit too maybe materialistic, caught up in everything. You have to remember that you are source, you are creator, and you are divine love. The green Venus is the love. The anchor is connecting us to the divinity. We're being held because we've strayed a little. So the card is asking us all via meditation, and this is it can be difficult. It's sort of like the gym. When you're in the vibe of the gym, you go every day. When you get out of the habit, it's a really difficult thing to start again. But really, really, really think about starting a serious meditation practice. If you can only do 10 minutes twice a day, that's better than nothing. But we really need to access now what is hidden, what is in the subconscious, because this knowledge and vibrational alignment that we're gonna attain by doing the meditation is gonna push us forward and then we'll be released from the hangman and we'll be moving on to higher and greater things. So if you can, and you're not already, really be serious about your meditation, 40 days, 40 nights, and we'll see where we're at. I can guarantee you life is gonna open up for you if we listen to this advice this week. It's a really good one. So have a great week, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.